Nikon on the drag performer stage in Austin attacked, and now she wants her experience to be an example for others in the transgender community. KXAN's Brittany Glass sat down with a woman who says she hopes her story will encourage others to report these crimes and for law enforcement to take these reports seriously. He wouldn't. He wouldn't leave my house. And he told me that he wouldn't leave until he was done. Christy Long says it started as a good time Sunday at her home. Then she says a man she thought was a friend wanted to take things too far. I said no. I pushed him off of me. Other Long says the man raped her. And then... I started to get up. And whenever I started to get up, he goes, If you get up, I'm going to smash your face in. And he's holding that hammer. The drag queen says he hit her in the back of the does, head with the hammer, this a wound nothing. that would require 12 staples. I ran down the stairs, and then the first thing I did was come in here, and I grabbed a knife. Long says she was able to get out of the house and eventually get help. He's coming. I need to hide. I need to get away. So then I ran to my backyard. Long says her attacker got away, but she is a survivor. She's staying strong just like she does on stage. All he's done is empowered me. She says she wants this experience to encourage others to report. No matter what you identify as, you need to come forward. If somebody sexually assaults you, you need to contact law enforcement. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. A police report was filed with the Austin Police Department alleging rape and aggravated assault. However, it is not clear if Long's attacker has been arrested.